as credited by Yeni Yeni in 2002. What cartoon is a 10 stroke 10 in your opinion? Batman, the animated series. Agreed. Love the Clayface episodes to this day. As a young dad I can very confidently say that Bluey does not miss. My daughter thinks she's Bluey, my wife thinks my daughter is Bingo. She's definitely Muffin. Over the garden wall. We're here to burgle your turds. Avatar The Last Ebb and a 10 stroke 10. Dexter's Laboratory. It's pronounced laboratory. Samurai Jack. His new show Primal is the show grown Jack fans need. Looney Tunes. Edit change tunes to tunes. My memory failed me. Mel Blanc was a treasure. DuckTales, the original. The reboot is actually a 10 stroke 10 as well. It actually fixes some of the problems of the original. Webby doesn't suck. Boys have unique personalities. Jizma Duck doesn't suck. Donald is actually around like from the comics, etc. Glomgold is one of the best characters in the reboot. You even get an origin story on the Rescue Rangers, a sequel story to tell Spin and Darkwing Duck is in it. Animaniacs. Hilluahoo Nurse. Early Spongebob. You used me. For land development. Bugs Bunny. Teaches everyone classical music without you knowing it. I learned embarrassingly late in life that it's Looney Tunes, rather than Tunes, because part of the reason for the series creation was for WB to show off their music library. Adventure Time for sure it has such a deep message about trauma and maturing it teaches kids to grow from their pain the lore is also immense for such a wacky cartoon it goes deep while also maintaining a childlike aspect it's a show for adults and kids it has gotten me and I'm sure many others through hellish times. Finn going into the pillow fort and living a whole pillowy life was an emotional journey I was not prepared for. Futurama. She's built like a steakhouse, but she handles like a bistro. Gravity Falls. Bill Cipher is a very fun antagonist. He is just so chipper about rearranging faces. I like that he has tons of friends too. Smart that he hedged his bets in his final moments and now has a new reincarnation somewhere. Tom and Jerry. Old school classic one. If there's anything boomers, jenks, millennials, and gens all can relate to, it's watching Tom and Amp, Jerry as kids. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Edit, I love my favorite quote from the show. You can pick your friends, and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. I recently rewatched the entire series with my girlfriend after not seeing it since childhood. It's still fucking hilarious. It's like Cartoon Network's equivalent of Invaders in mixed with Looney Tunes. It also introduced me to the music of Aurelio Voltaire when I was a kid and he's still one of my favorite artists to this day. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Return the Slab. Batman the Animated Series. The Clayface episodes are legitimately amazing television. Teen Titans. I was scrolling till I saw Teen Titans listed 10 stroke 10 forever and always. Metalocalypse. Alright, I get it, you're all without fathers, but... Nathan I'm not, effin love my dad. Cuts away to Nathan and father having a great time. My dad's effkin awesome. Pinky and the Brain was going to answer Animaniacs. Definitely agree here. Gurgoyles, excluding the non-canon season 3 of course. Keith David as Goliath did an amazing job. Original Scooby-Doo. 
Hope you give Mystery Incorporated a fair shot. Took me a few episodes to get used to the new takes on the characters, but after that I was on board and it was a fantastic ride through only two seasons. Rocco's Modern Life That show was a hoot. Batman the Animated Series is just a perfect show. Perfect art style and the voice acting will never be topped. Adventure Time Just finished watching the series all the way through. The world building is amazing. So many subtle hints at deeper stories. I enjoy it just as much as my kids do. Invader Zim W-H-Y-Y-Y-Y was there bacon in the soap question mark? I made it myself. Hey Arnold. One of the great things about Hey Arnold is that it tackled some pretty hefty issues despite being a kid's show. Like the whole Vietnamese war refugee thing with Mr. Nguyen's daughter, Oscar being illiterate, and Helga having an alcoholic mother. Avatar The Last Airbender. Considering this show was on Nickelodeon and managed to not only be entertaining to kids but extremely deep and thought provoking at times, it is a legit triumph. It's absolutely a 10 stroke 10 just for the sheer amount of things it does right. King of the Hill Bobby, if you weren't my son, I'd hug you.